uh, hi everyone and welcome back so to add more fun to the existing application what i did is i introduced the mongodb database and we will be writing reading to the database we will introduce some more models let's first talk about the cat model okay so here i did the mongodb connection i mean it's like the same typical node.js code mongoose.connect and i am running mongodb locally it is fine i will just zoom it a little bit okay now what do we have is we have our resolvers and type definitions so let's add some more type definitions to this we have hello and remove all these things we don't need them we will make it cat centrix cat and uh, this cat will return a single cat okay so cats is going to do the find in the database and return all the cat and here we have create cat we can remove this user types for now so cat needs id and name in the create cat we are passing name so similarly you can actually write other uh, mutations like update cat delete cat and all let me just minimize this so if i just call it as an update cat then instead of id you will be instead of string you will be getting the id update cat and delete cat here also you will be getting i mean it's just a string but yeah that would be required and we'll be returning what should we re what should we return in case of delete uh, nothing else like true or false you can uh, you can just say so that is boolean we are returning i think it should be capital b update we are returning cat and then query right in the query what we can do is we are returning all the cats okay and there can be another method like uh, get cat by id that can be another query we have so if we just look at the okay so here we got uh, we can actually trigger the create and all these things so let's go to the code again so we have exposed all these mutations so we have to write it in the resolvers create update and delete so create we already have we have to introduce few more cats we already have so but in this case we will be just returning the data from mongodb not from here so first of all we will make it async so here we have all the three methods create cat update cat and delete cat delete is nothing but find by id and remove and it is returning the boolean the same spec we have defined in the type definition that delete cat is returning boolean update cat is returning cat object create cat is returning cat object now if we just see this by running it on the our playground so how it is how it look like so here is our playground and here we can just see this query send request we are getting all the cats right this is the query we have if we go to the documentation then we can also check on the mutations like create uh, sorry update cat we can copy this id and then we are adding this mutation so we are passing the id and the name which we want to update new name right and just send it so we should be able to update this cat data right we can also delete it for delete what you need to do is delete cat and we are not getting any response it's just returning the boolean so we can't expect any argument so we just remove this and we will just send it so it will delete it and it will return the boolean right so this is how it is working whatever we have written we have seen that okay this is how the graphql query is working we are able to trigger the query mutations uh, based on our documentation okay now coming back to the code 
here now we, we see that this is the MongoDB and this is how we are writing the type definitions and resolver but but is this code scalable enough I mean if we keep adding the types and queries and mutations for the same model here then it will create a problem right for cat model that is fine but our application is going to have dog animal other models also so it's not good approach to combine all the, the type definitions in a single file so there is a way you can actually split these queries I mean schema definitions and resolver for each model in a different folder like for cat you will have the cat definitions and resolver for animal you will have an animal resolver animal definition in a separate separate folder and finally you merge it and pass it to the GraphQL Apollo server for now let's define it another uh, entity here only so we have the type definition we are talking about cat so there can be another entity animal and you define the model for the animal like the name and all so we can do the same thing same as cat we are introducing new entity so here we can expect a name so the model name is animal name is string that is fine and uh, the type uh, do we need a type or category of animal okay let's find let's keep the name property only for now and we have animal okay so what what else we are trying to explore is uh, what all different queries we can specify right so we have seen all the different kind of mutations and all different kind of queries so same as the mutations let's go to our type definition like same as this this is taking argument right so we can define our another method names like a simple cat it can be a simple cat which is taking id as a string and you are returning only a single cat right now you have to define this in your resolver cat taking the id as argument so here we will add it in the query section this will just do the search based on the id and here we have these argument i'm getting id from the arguments object i'm just doing base structuring directly and here we can do the find by id find by id and you just pass the id so it will return the cat object right away and we are good with this okay coming back to our other types which we were specifying like we have the animal is another type and then now you can in the type definitions you can specify animal so we can also create a enums and all these things so animal is also have a name and id and you can define the methods for animal and the queries for the animal right like animals which is going to return the type animal of array of not non nullable -null list animal is already a type we have defined now similarly you can define the mutations for the animal so these mutations will get exposed right so our our schema can be as simple as cat and animal and as complex as like a lot of different collections of mongodb we are exposing them through these type definitions we are exposing them through these type definitions like cat animal and all mutations and queries we can also define the union interface uh, custom input types everything you can define here in the type definition okay for now let's keep it simple so this is about the beginning or you can say the basics of your queries of your graphql introduction now i will go one one step upper one step beyond and we will have the isolation of these queries and mutations for different models in different folders and we will merge them together and we will create a 
simple APIs because this is not scalable enough. We are putting all the, the types and definitions together in a single file. Okay, let's take a look on to that in the next video.